All right. So, how how much does this graphic card cost, Paul? Uh, I think it's like twelve hundred. Let's see. Nvidia Titan X graphics card. What? Th th this is something that got put on the on the bench today. And yeah, okay, so this is a twelve hundred dollar graphics card. So, this is. I just went, you know, kind of feeling around the board, checking out some of the components I may have to replace because I'm going to have to replace a couple of these. So I figured, you know, since I have to replace it, maybe I'll remove the chip, this roof from the board just so I can get a measurement. And take a <laughs> <laughs> This is $1,200. This is 12 Oh, my God. Wow. Just to show you out there that there are devices put together even worse than a MacBook. This is, this is pretty, pretty. This is like, I, I don't know what, what the, it's almost like they use thermal paste as solder. That just, it just popped right off, took virtually no effort on the right side. What is this? Look at this. I could, I could pry this thing off with my tweezer. Almost no effort. Jesus Christ. I should probably start saying yes to video card repairs. I used to think that the issue was going to be the graphics chip, but after seeing how this thing is constructed, I think that these may actually be a lot easier. Because usually what goes bad on these is the actual die, this little chip, this thing in the, in the center. And you can't get replacements for these. You, I mean, you, you can find them on AliExpress, but they never actually work. You know, they're, they're usually fake, garbage, junk. Uh, usually this is what goes bad on these, and I don't t typically expect that to be fixable. But after seeing some of the soldering quality on this stuff, I mean, this is this is dis this is really disgraceful. This is just I'm I, I'm I'm speechless. Anyway, so I may I may if I have time get to do some. Other repairs, other work today, other stuff. But just wanted to show you that before going on to something else. So that's it for today. And uh, as always, I hope you learned something. This is like. <laughs> this is so. This is so sad. Steve, look at this. <laughs> this, this is twelve hundred dollars. I could shove my tweezers under there. I didn't even turn the iron on. What a piece of shit. Did you show the other one with the liquid metal? It's wiggly. Where is that? That's this one, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the one that got ripped off the board. So this got sent in because one of these resistors got ripped off the board. And look at this. Look at the, what is this? Look at this. What the? <laughs> what the hell? Pretty sure that's mercury or some shit. It, it looks like mercury. Yeah. It does kind of look. Jeez. The one across from that look, it Actually, moves look, around like mercury. Search online, see if, if, if Nvidia used. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just compare this to a MacBook board. To be fair, I can't believe Apple is actually better at making something see, than some other company. I always said Apple PCBs are, in general, much better than Windows and anything else. Speak for you, eighty nine hundred. <laughs> Except you, eighty nine hundred. <laughs> Like, if you look at one of these pieces, uh, what is this? This is an 820-3330. You take a look at the solder on the 820-3330, and, you know, I mean, look at these current sense resistors. See, these are the current sense resistors on the 820-3330s. Look, you can even, you, my tweezers are bending. See that? The tweezer is actually bending, and the solder is not coming off of the board. That's a very, very big difference from the NVIDIA one, where the solder is just, you know, easily, happily moved. Look at this one. Okay, my tweezer is physically bending right now to get any of that to happen. And all I did is leave a tiny, tiny mark, but, yeah. And then what came off didn't come off in a bunch of pieces. It came off like one solid piece. Well, let's try another current sense resistor, like this one over here.
the mercury inside of a resistor. <laughs> it's a mercury-filled resistor? Uh, that would not pass ROHS in any way. But, but is that tightened ROHS? That's the thing. Uh, I'm really curious. Does this, is it, does it well, itself? I'm going to stab myself in the thumb. Yes, All right. ROHS. So yeah, you, I, I can't really measure force here. You're just going to have to take my word for it that that's a lot of force that's being put in to make that tiny little hole. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> what are you going to me to me? <laughs> All right, time to get out of here. I'm being picked on by everybody who works here now. <laughs> I'm getting, but yeah, that that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Oh, man. What? It's not like I script this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Take these tweezers in your eye. <laughs>